a Lego ghost. Brick or Treat 2020 here at Legoland Florida. This is our second Brick or Treat event. It's a little bit different from the one last year. Last year, surprisingly, it was our favorite, believe it or not, favorite Halloween festivity here in Central Florida. Even above Halloween Horror Nights, even above Walt Disney World's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. You can actually meet Lego monsters here. We're game. I want to take this guy home. I am really happy to see things like this still in the park. Last year for Brick or Treat, they had a Brick or Treat trail and they had these little square things set up with people passing out candy to kids. Rest in Lego pieces. How freaking amazing is that? There's me, your grim, ghoulish host. But they can't do it this year. So now they do handing out candy a little bit differently. It's coming my way wherever I go Hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Some of you guys remember this, but a couple years ago, oh, I'm gonna say probably about like 10, 15 years ago, maybe I'm wrong, but Lego came out with the Monster Fighter series where it was like a haunted house that you can get and a hearse, and I wanted them really bad. Sadly, they were really, really pricey, and they stopped making them. If anybody knows where I can get them, let me know because I want them. I want the entire set. I'd set them up in our house. Jessica would probably be. Kind of mad. I don't know. She's she's game for weird, strange things like that. So I want them. The merchandise selection this year, eh, they don't really have that much. Last year they had a whole bunch. We got our vampire Lego mask at last year's brick or treat. But these pumpkins, especially that skeleton pumpkin, are really cool. I saw the Frankenstein one online, but they have these Lego brick heads. There's a witch, and over here. I haven't seen the Scarecrow before. That's pretty neat. Jessica's a big fan of all things that light up. These skulls are pretty rad. I dig these pumpkins quite a lot, especially the colors. But I think my favorite thing here, and I wish that he looked like the Lego ghost, is this ghost. Now we bought this exact spooky set of Lego characters. It's got the Dracula, the Spider Queen and the Frankenstein last year, so we're not going to get them this year. I was kind of hoping and actually a little sad that they don't have other characters for Halloween, like the mummy. That would have been cool, but it's all good. It's spooky. When it comes to spooky costumes, they don't really have much. They do have the vampire costume here. Last year, we were able to pick up, like I said, just the mask itself, but I'm not seeing any masks here this time. But it is nice to see that they have the witch costume out as well as the Lego skeleton. I know there's a bit of a glare there, but that's still cool. For Brick or Treat 2020, I really wanted the mummy mask this year as my souvenir to take home. They don't have it, but they do have it in costume. They are on sale. Sadly, it won't fit me. Or you know what? This would have been a perfect grim up all night Halloween costume for me. Now what is this? You put these little guys together and they can either be an ornament or a necklace. But I really just, I love the box. I love the box. I found one spooky shirt. Are you my mummy? I wonder if they have this in adult size. Now one of the big draws to trick or treat here at Legoland Florida is you can meet different characters. Well, the Lego versions of them different times are posted right here at the very beginning. You can meet Spider Lady, the Lord Vampire, Mummy, Witch, Scarecrow. Captain Brickbeard is new this year. I don't think they had him last year, Jessica. And the Lego Pumpkin. I remember these guys from last year, the Jammin' Jacks. Basically, when it gets a little dark, 
these faces come to life. And they sing songs. It was a lot of fun last year. At the very end of last year's Brick or Treat, this was the place to be. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, I like the matching masks, man. That's awesome. Oh, and Frankenstein. And we're gonna have more people here later. Like, we're gonna have, like, a witch, and we're gonna have... Hey, I like the test, dude. That's awesome. We need to get one of those. Frankenstein, you're even on it. Yes, my friends, this is a vampire hearse made entirely out of Legos. This thing is cool. Last year it was over by the castle. This year, it's at the very beginning. Let's get a little closer look inside. Yes, one of my favorite things about how Legoland decorates, they have characters like this scattered throughout the park. It's a ghost. It's a Lego ghost. Oh man, this is genius. R.I.P. Ivana Build. That's awesome. And check it out. See the ghost up in the trees? Now what's this stone say? R.I.P. Frank Einstein. All right, these things are just downright adorable. R.I.P. Jack O'Lantern. That was cool. Jester Funny Bones. The final resting place of Jester Funny Bones. In case we were wondering where that is. It's right here, by the carousel. Looks like we came across our very first photo spot. And just look at how amazing they look. We love you guys. Happy Halloween. It's a video. I'm all about the videos. <laughs> They're so pretty. Because you're in the presence of royalty, you have.
control by crew. The key is resting in your lap. Just simply lift your hands and clap.
jig. Now grab your shovels, it's time to dig!
Yes, this is what I came here for, the Lego Super Brick Ghost. Number of bricks, just over 50,000. Hours to build, more than 200 hours. And that right there pictured is the Lego Ghost that we all know, but that's not him. I mean, I get it. You can't do properly a Lego Ghost, but it's cool. I mean, check him out. It does kind of look like a building. Like the Empire Lego Ghost Building. But it's a ghost. Everywhere I walk, I keep hearing creepy music. But they have another old trick-or-treat station here. Enjoy a roller ghoster. But I wanted to get a closer look at this guy. Yeah, that's cool. The face of Halloween has definitely changed a lot right here. Underneath these trees is where they used to have the Brick or Treat Trail. And over here in the mini Lego land, the Lego world, they had a candy corn scavenger hunt. Not no more. I pointed this out in last year's video, but this entire scene takes place in Georgetown, just outside of Washington, D.C. The Georgetown Canal. That building that you see in the background, if you look very closely at the very top, Dracula is perched on top of it with his cape wide open. But that's not a church. It's actually Georgetown University. They filmed The Exorcist here. Oh my God. Would you look at this amazing castle? This is like our home. It should be our home. Heckins, Legoland, Florida, we're moving in. Let's get a closer look at this banner. You see that? It's vampire teeth and bats. They don't really have times listed, but they do have a bunch of different shows that happen here, like pop-up shows. But I wanted to stop and check this out because I noticed it walking by. 
You see that back there? You see what that is? It's a Lego tomb. That is scary booty. That's, that's cool. That's really cool. This is something I usually don't get into whenever I see it at the theme parks, but they have here a mosaic build from 12 to 5 p.m. Brick by brick match ghostly colors of Lego to help create a Halloween masterpiece. So we cheated and we asked them what the finished picture was going to look like and they handed us this. That's pretty cool. So this is really, really cute. The board, so all you're going to do is follow the pattern colors on your solid piece with all the little pieces and on the back it tells you where your piece goes on the massive board. We're 162. Go for it. And to practice social distancing, you build it, you give it to them, and they put it on. Awesome. They are the artists, the creators of the spooky stuff. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys look phenomenal. You guys look phenomenal. Uh, happy Halloween and brick or treat. Happy brick or treat. Happy brick or treat. Happy <laughs> And as expected, anytime Jessica sees a pumpkin, she's got to go near it. Her pumpkin purse. Relative. Relative. I'm visiting relatives. <laughs> Family. You're so cute, it kills me. Last year, they were building this thing. It's nice to see that it's still here. Do you remember, Jessica, whenever we came here last year, we saw them putting the head. Yeah, that was really cool, actually. On top of the scarecrow. That was super cool. And I'm glad like that they still have it. It was like this ceremonious nah. Halloween brick or treat thing. It's still here. Basically, I feel like we're walking around the entire park doing a pumpkin photo shoot. Of course. <laughs> Every chance she gets. Of course, I think last year you hugged a big pumpkin as well. All right, Jessica, don't trip, but go do what you do best. Ah, uh, you're gourd, Jis. We have some concerns about Legoland Florida and this year's Brick or Treat. Obviously, people's safety is the number one priority of anything, especially when it comes to Halloween festivities. And children. And children. There's a lot going on in the world. Legoland Florida, and I think it's mainly possibly because of the county that they live in. But people here in the parks, in Legoland, nobody's wearing a mask. Well, there's a select few people that are wearing masks. Yeah. But well, a lot presented. of people aren't. And staff. All and staff are wearing a mask. Um, social distancing is not being enforced, unless you're in a line for something, yeah. then they'll social distance you. So we stopped and we asked somebody and they said, they are enforcing mask wearing, facial coverings here inside Legoland, Florida. Only in buildings, in lines, and on rides. So basically, people walking around the park, you can do whatever you want. And they're collecting in groups and small areas or not distancing at all. Uh, although, you know, when you meet the characters out in the open, you can't get close to them, which you would expect that, but right. it, uh, and to be honest, it's kind of an oxymoron for me. Well, we're kind of weighing an issue of whether we should just okay. cut the video short and just leave, or 
keep our distance and just have the best Halloween experience we possibly can. Because so far it's been phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, like I said at the very beginning of the, the video, I said this was probably our favorite Halloween experience last year and we were so excited to come today. We're good at dodging people and yeah. keeping our distance and because we're a spooky couple, you know, people... People avoid uh, us like the plague, no pun intended. Too yeah. soon? Too soon. It's time to do a little trick-or-treating. Yeah. This is really cool how they decided to do that this year. Basically, you take your candy bag, you put it down there, and they send candy down a chute to you. Talk about completely contactless. Where is yours? Empty. Waiting for the witch. Oh my spooky, spooky lord. Happy brick or treat! <laughs> Every trick or treat spot is ours. All right, ready on the count of three. Ready. One. Gotcha. Oh, no, you tricked us! I'm hey, coming for him too. Happy Halloween, okay. brick or treat. Halloween. Wait, I gotta say brick or treat. Brick or treat. Well, shiver me timbers. Is that a pirate zombie? I see. Wanted zombie pirate captain. 50,000 de bloom reward. I want to meet this guy. Happy spooky brick or treat. Brick or treat. Brick or treat. Ahoy. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you both. You guys look great. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Arr. Great! Pirate talk. Right. <laughs> Alright guys, so I was told that I should ask you your names. I'm Captain Blackbeard. I am Captain Blackbeard. I'm Captain Blackbeard. I'm Captain Blackbeard. Captain Blackbeard. Ah! Barba Negra. I think it's time we meet the old Captain Brickbeard. Oh, would you look at you, Captain Brickbeard! Happy Brick or Treat, sir! Happy Brick or Treat to you! Aw oh, man, you are awesome! You're looking amazing! And spooky! And piratey! Arr. I just want to point out that this, to me, is genius. This is my type of comedy. Thank you for not feeding the animals. We find ourselves standing outside of the Firehouse Ice Cream, where it says Sundays floats and coffee because they have this year's Halloween treat and we are getting it. I am a sucker for all things sweet and I want this. It's called the Vampire Shadow. Now I'm not gonna lie, it is a little tiny, you know what, and I am not gonna complain about that because when you eat something sweet, you don't want it to be too much, but the Vampire Shadow for $4 and 50 cents sink your teeth into edible chocolate chip cookie dough topped with spooky sprinkles and a candy treat and that's it right there that's perfect oh i am gonna eat you all up jessica's gonna want some but she ain't getting some because it's mine she says nope yes it's all mine ha 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 yummy That's cookie dough. That's cookie dough. This is good. It's just like a mouthful of cookie dough. Jessica did not want to eat the vampire shadow, which is completely understandable. She's not about the sweets like I am. To be honest, if you are not a fan of cookie dough, you do not want to eat this thing because it is rich. It is nothing but cookie dough. I liked it. I couldn't eat two of them though. Oh, I love your food. Happy brick or treat. Ah, oh, you are awesome. You're like my favorite Lego monster. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 
Happy Halloween! Yay! Yeah. I'm out! No! <laughs> You guys are awesome. We love you. So that's pretty much about it for our Brick or Treat 2020 here at Legoland, Florida. First and foremost, thank you Legoland for hosting us, inviting us out for your media night today. This is our second year and we had a blast. The mask thing made us a little uncomfortable to be honest. Uh, I was uncomfortable. But what did you think of everything? I really enjoyed myself. Um, the candy stations I thought was a nice, fun uh, change up from the candy trail. Uh, I kind of actually prefer it this way, actually. Um, yeah, the only the only thing, the thing I have to say is the mask policy was very uncomfortable for me because I am a high risk. Um, so you kind of felt like you were dodging bombs throughout the park when people were gathered in large groups and not distancing and no masks and things like that so um, it's just something you have to consider if you decide to come you know and uh, you know what I, I feel a little silly because we were probably here for about an hour and we realized that nobody was wearing masks yeah uh, so if we would have known that ahead of time, I don't know if we would have come down for it. It may have changed my decision to attend. I have to say, there have been places that we have decided not to attend because they didn't have a mask policy. So we, we made the best yeah. of everything. We still had a good Halloween. Did you have a favorite character that you met this year? I was going to say it's Mr. and Mrs. Dracula, but it's actually Vampire and Spider Lady. And they actually had them together this year. Yeah. Last year they didn't, it so cute. it was kind of like a treat. I think they only did that because it was raining. It, yeah, and Which, the characters kind of moved around because of the rain. I'm okay with that, because it, it, you got to see them both at the same exact time. Yeah. And it, it was a perfect pairing. So thank you, Legoland. Until next time, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's coming my way wherever I go, hard luck is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always